Okay. This is Carly, our tail model. The end product. This is the end product. I really like getting a good shot of that. Yes. Um, I'll get an even better shot. It kind of looks better from this angle, I think. The end knotted product. Okay. I'm going to explain what I'm doing. Okay, the most important thing about doing a mud tail is finding this little piece of hair way down on the tailbone, almost at the end of the tailbone, and separate that out because that'll be the thing that ties the whole thing together. Then take the rest of the tail, divide it into three parts. and start braiding, just your regular braiding. But you're not going to braid very far. You're just going to braid down like one or two plates. Then combine two of the, your clumps. Actually, I think I'll go one more and combine these two clumps. So now you just have two, and you're always maintaining this separate thingy here. OK, turn this up. That's the big trick. That's where you make your little ball thing. Then wrap. You now you got these two things, two sections. You wrap it around the back, cross over, around the front, cross over. I'm kind of twisting these as I go. Cross over in front. And just keep crossing in front and in back until you get almost to the end of the hair. So you just have these short pieces. Okay, then I'm gonna pull this one around. Okay, you wanna combine the two bunches. See, combine the two bunches. Ideally, you wanna do this around the back. I'm gonna do it at the side so you can see it. Once you have the two little bunches combined, you braid them, break them into three again and do a little braid. Now this braid doesn't have to be real pretty and you kind of do it around the back of the tail. It's easier to hide it. So you make a little braid in here. All the way down to the end. Okay. Then you fold this in half like that to make a little loop. See. Then here's the whole trick to the whole thing. Take this long piece, grab it in the middle, wrap it clockwise around the middle of your little braided loop till you get to the end. Okay, then take the bottom half of that and wrap it counterclockwise around and around stuffing that thing through there. Stuffing it in there. Oh, one more time. See, you're going through until you've got this wrapped around your little loopy thing on the side. I don't know what to call it. Tuck that all around the back then just give it all a good tug. And there you go. Now you can, to make it look a little prettier, you can just tuck this thingy in in the back or in behind here, and that'll just make it look a little prettier. But that's a good solid mud tail, and it will not come out. Blessing of the Hound's Day tail with the mud tail and the French braided tail. Pity.